Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory run with Banbury United FC in the Premier League. And the Premier League is where we are staying. We have officially avoided relegation. Uh, I played a few more games than I meant to. Uh, let's see. Well, I was going to come back about three games ago, I think. Three or four games ago. Um, so a couple games more. Uh, that's mostly because we kept getting like FA Cup kind of games slotted in that would like push other games out of the way or other people's games would just get rescheduled completely. So the schedule just looked weird and I just didn't get a good pairing of games that I wanted to show. And so I just kind of kept pushing through it a little bit. But uh, we'll get into that. Uh, things have been going pretty good. Um, I think they could have been going better. Also, I guess they could be going a lot worse, so I guess depending on how you look at it. Uh, but uh, today we're going to be playing a first game will be up against Fulham, which should be a pointable game. Uh, honestly, it should be a winnable game. And, and then we're going to play in the FA Cup semifinal. Yes, for the second year in a row, we have made it to the FA Cup semifinal. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are. And the last game you guys saw was the 4-1 defeat uh, against Liverpool. We then went out against Brighton, who we lost to last time, by the way, which makes this even more uh, of an unexplainable loss, if you if you ask me, and stomped them 7 to nothing. We beat them more than any other team has beat them this season. We had three goals from Amchoff. We had three goals from Larrabee. And we had a goal from Lehane. Uh, Lehane, I'm sorry. I keep saying his name wrong. Lehane there. So Larrabee was our striker. Uh, Amshoff on the left. Lehane on the right. All three of them collectively scoring seven goals. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible. The goals looked beautiful. Every single one of them. It was amazing. And I'm like, why can we not? Like, for that one game, we were the best team in the entire Premier League. By far. Absolutely. There's no way... Anybody could argue that we were not the best team in all of Premier League for that one game because it was just outstanding. Uh, we went up against Arsenal. Oh, yeah, that's what you're right. You're seeing that right. We beat Arsenal twice in a row. The team that started this whole season by beating us four to nothing. Now, granted, four to nothing after having a man sent off in the 18th minute, we beat twice in a row. First, we beat them in the FA Cup fourth round, two to nothing. We got a go from Feezy and a go from Amshoff in that game. And then we beat them one to nothing with a go from Campbell. Uh, granted, this one was at home, so that one was a little bit easier for us, hopefully, in theory. But uh, although I guess the other one was a better score. Although I would say that fourth round games, you're probably going to see some teams not playing necessarily their starting players a lot, especially if they had another game coming up real quick, which they did against us again. Um, and so I would say I would I would actually judge the home game against presumably their full starting team in the second game. More than the first one. But either way, 3 to nothing over two legs. That's amazing. We went up against Man City and lost to them 2 to nothing. And I would say we played better than losing 2 to nothing. And that sounds weird, but I thought we played okay. And they're, just, they're a good team. Honestly, they, they capitalized on the two... They, literally, they capitalized on the two mistakes that we made and scored. I mean, we had so many opportunities to score on them. We just couldn't get it, couldn't get it, couldn't get it. And we played such a good defense. We didn't let them score until the 57th minute. And even then... They only had the one go until the 93rd minute. And so we took care of business for the most part, but we made two mistakes and they're just too good to, to give those types of mistakes to. So they scored, they won. It is what it is. Uh, we then went up against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup fifth round, beat them in extra time, two to one. We got a go from Williams and a go from fine in this game. Good stuff there. And then Amshoff picking up a couple goals in back-to-back -back games. First against Southampton. Thankfully, that was a win against them. They were ranked seventh at the time, I believe. Uh, we then went up against Man United. Uh, a team that, how did we play against them last time? Yeah, we only lost by one last time. So, was Man United the better team? Yes. Yes, Man United was the better team. But what I will say is that they were not a four-goal better team. We looked really good in this game. It was similar to the Man City game in that we had shot after shot after shot after shot after. We actually had a higher XG in this game, I think, if I remember correctly, or very, very close to it. Um, we shot so many times post, post, top bar, you know, go, goalkeeper save, goalkeeper save. I mean, so many shots, so many good shots. 
and we just couldn't get a score to save our lives. And Man United, they just, like, every time they had a chance, it was like it went into the back of the net. It was just, it was one of those games that you get sometimes. They're great. They're, they're the type of team that is, again, you expect them to capitalize on those types of mistakes. They're just so good that if you make even a smallest slip up, they're going to they're gonna make you pay. And that's exactly what they did. So I thought we played well, except for, like I said, like two or three, maybe four mistakes. But now you look at it, um, and they just did better in those four mistakes. So it is what it is. They deserve the win. They got the win. They're a better team. I am not denying that fact by any stretch of the imagination. But I liked what I saw for the most part from us. We just we just need to stop making a couple mistakes here and there. Uh, we went up against Middlesbrough and beat them four to nothing. We got a hat trick from Fine and another goal from uh, Lyane here in this one. Good stuff there. I really like Lyane. He's looking really, really good. Fine, obviously. We know he's looking really good. Uh, we went up against Chelsea. Chelsea was ranked 12th, I think. Excuse me. All right. A little bit of hiccup there. Uh, hiccup and a yawn. Yeah, 12th right now. I think that's where they were when we played them as well. And it was close. It was close. I thought we might have been able to get a win here. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We just couldn't get that second goal after we tied it up. Uh, but I'm glad, I'm glad we could tie it up because we did get a point, a point, a point, especially against a team. Chelsea's a good team. We, we, we can all, I think, agree that on, on your average year, Chelsea's going to be a pretty good team. Uh, and then, of course, we go up against Aston Villa here, who's ranked 7th, I think, 7th or 8th when we played them. And we took care of business here. Four goals to their one. Uh, we had a goal from Jonas. We had a goal from Williams, which was a penalty shot. And then we had a pair, a, ha a brace from Prosser taking just just absolutely putting the exclamation point on everything everything it looked great uh, the team looked really good and i'm hoping they carry that momentum into these next two games because we play fulham first which I, again i'm hoping for a win here not just because i want to win obviously we want to win i want to win here because i want to carry that win into the newcastle game we've already played newcastle twice this year right uh the first game we drew two to two the second game we won one to nothing i would love to beat them in this game here because this gets us to the FA Cup Finals, which would be amazing. And I think the FA Cup Finals, if I remember correctly, I was going to say, it's either Fulham or West Ham. <laughs> I was going to say, and Fulham is a team that we've already beaten once. We're about to hopefully beat again. And then West Ham is a team that we beat two to one there or two to nothing there. And we drew against one to one. So I like our chance. If we get past Newcastle, I like our chances, guys. I like our chances to win the FA Cup our first season in the Premier League. Now, granted, this is again, our second time in the FA Cup semifinal. So take that for what you will. All right. Let's go up against this game against Fulham here. Um, here is the team we're bringing today. We got Watts in goal. Thankfully back, uh, by the way, uh, Watts was injured. I don't know if it shows you uh, how far back was he injured. Uh, he was back in this game against Aust Aston Villa, but actually he was back there. I thought he got injured further than that. What? I'm confused. I know Watts was injured for some period of time. Apparently I made it up. Apparently I remember him getting injured and then, you know what? I, you know what it must have been? He must have gotten injured on one of our um, breaks for international play because it was like a two-week injury, um, but he must have come back right after international play. I forgot. I thought we had played our backup for a bit and truth be told, we were supposed to be playing our backup in the uh, cup games and I kind of forgot. Um, but um, yeah, that's fine. So Watts, Watts, I guess, came back. He, he did, like I said, he got injured for a couple weeks. Uh, I thought it was going to look worse than it did, but thankfully he is back, and I, and I guess he's been back for a while. And I just kind of, I kind of gloss over the goalkeeper, if I must be perfectly honest. I look at all the other players, but I kind of just accept that the goalkeeper is just who's going to be there, right? Like, I just don't even think about the goalkeeper at all. Um, but anyway, sorry, let's get back to the team. Uh, we got Watson go, Joseph on the left, Jonathan on the right, Fabio and Mourner in the middle. We got Feezy, Jonas, and Williams across the defensive midfield. Amshoff on the left wing, Fletcher on the right wing, and Larrabee coming in up front. Larrabee on seven goals, Amshoff on ten goals. Uh, fine. How many fine? How many goals does Fine have? He's got like 12, 15. I was going. He's got fifteen goals. Le, uh, Lyane's got eight goals. I mean, we got some goals from guys. This hasn't been a great years for for goals. I mean, Nick Jones is on a seven goals. Now, granted, he is our primary penalty shooter. Uh, but uh, speaking of Nick Jones. Or Nick Jones, Nick Jonas. I gotta, how can I? How can I forget his name? Nick Jonas here. Uh, he is a little bit tired today, but we should be able to sub him out if we can get a good spot here. We're gonna be playing a little bit of an attacking formation today. Um, that's how much confidence I have that we are actually gonna look good today against Fulham. Watch this backfire in my face because 
games like this that we should be winning often backfire on me. So we'll see. Hopefully we can take care of business today because we, I don't know. Well, I feel like we deserve it. Oh, I didn't show you guys um, the fact that we did, in fact, avoid relegation. We can look at that here after this game. Fulham with the throw in. Lewis, back to Fulham. Uh, I forget his name. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. That's embarrassing. Going down a goal in the first minute here. That is embarrassing. Wow. I can't even yell at the guys this early. Like, it's like, what's the point of yelling at them? We just came out of the locker room. Well, we looked good in the Aston Villa game. Apparently, we're going to lose against Fulham and look stupid. Fulham, who is in relegation. Because, of course, we are. Oh, my goodness. Like, I have no words. We are 20 minutes in, and we've gotten one shot. What happened to this team? Where's the team that just beat uh, uh, Aston Villa 4-1? to one? Where's the team that beat... Uh, Brighton seven to nothing. I, I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand this at all. Oh, there we go. We finally got a second shot. What is going on? Where did our team go? This is the most weird thing in the world. You guys better wake up in the second half here. Like, what is going on? I don't have an explanation. This is ridiculous. What in the world? All right. Apparently, Larrabee is not going to be our guy today. Let's see if Campbell will be. Uh, Jonathan, let's get you up for Specnoli. Oh, man, we got to get Jonas out of here. He's pretty tired. I mean, all these guys are tired, but Jonas, we know, is going to be tired. So let's get him out. Okay, let's go with this. Three subs early on. We actually might even put him, turn on and get stuck in because I we need to shake some stuff up. We need to shake some stuff up here. Eight shots, only one on target. They've only had one on target, and it's just, I mean, they got that lucky shot. Like, Watts absolutely should have caught that one. Wow, we're going to lose here in embarrassing fashion. All right, Leanne, you're going to have to come in. We, we need you, buddy. And honestly, uh, Amshoff, you're going to come out for Prosser. And that's it. That's all we got. That's all we got. Prosser just scored two goals. Let's see if he can get something here. Got nothing. What is going on? I have no idea what's going on. This is the weirdest thing. We can't get a shot on target. Okay, finally got a second shot on target. Here's a throw in from Spagnoli into Carew. Carew just does stupid stuff with it. I have no idea what that was. Uh, there's Mourner, just gives it away. Thankfully, he gets it back. Carew with the ball again. Up to Feezy again, giving it away. What is going on? I don't understand at all. I don't understand at all. There's Spagnoli with the ball. He's going to kick it deep up to nobody. Le there we go. Uh, Lillane picks it up, gets it over to Campbell. Campbell has a chance, maybe. No, he doesn't. It was just a, a figment of our imagination there. I mean, of course we had higher XG. I mean, that's logical. We had more possession of two as well. We had 10 corners. Of course, that would make sense. You know, more shots. Same number of shots on target. And they beat us. Yeah, this whole this whole game makes sense. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Uh, getting beat because the other team plays better. I've said this so many... I've said this a thousand times. Getting beat because, because the other team plays better, I can accept. Getting beat because we play better, <laughs> it's the most frustratingly stupid thing in this game oh my goodness uh, throw, throw throw the water bottle throw the water bottle i don't care i hope i hit you with it <laughs> oh my goodness not that i really thought we had a chance to get into the euro stuff up here but losing against a team like that is just next level embarrassing next level embarrassing i i I I don't have any words. I, I don't know what to say. I guess we'll be right back. At least that was a quick game. We didn't have to suffer long. 
We'll be right back against our game against New. I have zero confidence. We're gonna get wrecked by Newcastle. That's that's my prediction right now. We are gonna get absolutely dominated by Newcastle, but we'll play it. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, I did want to show you guys this. The lowest we can finish is fifteenth overall, so that's not bad. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Highest we can finish apparently is six. That's impressive. That this, these top several teams are that much better than the rest of us. Um, but you know that's that's a good that's a good thing. I mean, as long as if we can finish tenth, uh, tenth is a great finish. Honestly, that that's an amazing finish. Top half, yes, please. Uh, the only other thing I want to show you guys, I did pick up one new player just before the end of the transfer window. Uh, nothing to get excited about though. Uh, I will show you. An already here comes in here, twenty years old, uh, two star current ability could be as high as four star. I just picked him up because we need somebody on the left hand side, and he was very cheap. Uh, basically paid nothing for him. Uh, two point two mil. So whatever we got from um. Owens or whoever it was that we sold off. I can't remember now. I forget his name all of a sudden. I think it was Owens. Um, we basically turned into this guy. And like I said, young guy could turn into something. You never know. If he doesn't, no harm, no far foul. So uh, just again, mostly because we had injuries over here. And I just wanted to make sure that we had somebody there just in case. And we did play. We actually subbed him in once uh, because of some of the early injuries. Other than that, that is it. Let's get into today's game. Here's the team we got today. Watson go, Boysen on the left, Jonathan on the right, Fabio and Mourner in the middle. Feezy, Williams, and Nick Jonas across the midfield. I like the fact that these guys are playing pretty well together, uh, especially these guys on the left. So Amshoff on the left, Layane uh, on the right, and Fine up front. We need a much better, <laughs> we, we need a much better performance today than we had against that last game. That was an embarrassing, embarrassing last game. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Newcastle's going to be tough, but this is a home game for us, so maybe we have a slight... Oh, my goodness. Well, we thought we had a chance. There's no way now. I mean, don't get me wrong. Larrabee's good. He's been a little bit, a little bit, not great lately. I'll be honest. But fine, fine was put. That's the reason we rested fine in the last game, so he'd be ready for this one. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe we just got an injury to fine. I don't even want to watch this game. You guys watch this game. I'm not watching this game. Oh, Amshoff almost got there. I mean, this highlight's going so long, it will be a goal. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it, the, the highlights don't go that long with, unless they're a goal. Spoiler alert, long highlights like that are almost guaranteed to be a goal. <sighs> Not that I really thought we had a chance uh, coming in. I just, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that Newcastle had us this time. But losing fine... That's just, ah, it got you. I am gutted. What is that, dude? Like, look where you're passing the ball, my friend, please. I mean, Newcastle obviously wants this. They are playing pretty tight to us. They're doing a good job. I mean, we're not even trying to hit the goal. We're just, I don't know what we're doing. Oh, 
Oh goodness, I'm <laughs> I'm so so bombed right now. I mean, it's just again, it kind of goes back to the idea. It's not even so much that they're playing better than us. We're you know, it, we're just not. We can't hit the broadside of a barn. That's one, and then losing fine. It's just incre incredibly just frustrating, right? I, I genuinely do not want to watch. If I was not recording this, I would not watch the rest of this game. I'll tell you that right now. I, I've already given up, <laughs> which sounds bad because we're only down by two. But I've seen nothing to tell me, to give me any confidence that we're going to get back in this game. Nine shots, only two on target. Like, what is going on, guys? Ten shots, two on target. Like, this is this is like we were last season. Like, what is going on? I don't even know what to do. I'm just so frustrated. Uh, I'm glad they did wait until the end of the season to start playing like this. Rating. I'm I'm gotten so grumpy. <laughs> My team is gonna hate me. <laughs> I know I have one more sub, but at this point I'm just like whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's not that we lost. It's how we lost. I cannot believe we lost five five minutes into the game. I you know what? Leave. I don't, I'm not even talking to these guys. <laughs> Sorry. We're not talking. Uh, You'll be giving your team the silent treatment. Yeah, proceed. Just whatever. <laughs> I've never done the silent treatment before. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry that this has just been such a depressing episode. Like, I'm embarrassed. Of course, he's out for three weeks. I'm embarrassed that we have played so well. Again, except for a couple games, we just otherwise really well. And then just, I mean, the falling game is zero excuse. I get this one. Okay. Newcastle eventually was going to figure us out and play well. I get it. That's fine. Newcastle's a good team. There's zero excuse for the loss against Fulham. This, this was a terrible episode and I'm so embarrassed right now. I just, I don't know what to do now. All right, well, we're going to come back for the end of the season. I don't think there's any chance we can catch up here, which it's fine. We didn't need to, but I mean, it, it was kind of like that Cinderella season of like, we almost would have, could have had it, you know, so to speak. It was just, this game against Fulham is really bumming me out. And then the injury against Define. I hate being this down for you guys. I'm sorry. I need to fuck it up. We, we've played so well and we saved ourselves. We were in the Premier League for another year. This is an amazing season. And that's what I need to take home. I need to let go of these bat last two losses. It's okay. Just let them go. I was actually so excited to start this episode. I was like, oh man, this is going to be such a good episode. And it just has been so bad. But that's okay. We'll come back here for the Norwich and Crystal Palace games at the very end of the season. So that way we can kind of end the season on a good note, hopefully. And we'll go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Again, I'm sorry for a terrible episode. But thank you for watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.